Okay, um, I wanted to try to work through how to um, teach a lesson on uh, multiplying three binomials together. And I'm looking for the warm up I did today. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. Okay, here's the warm up I did this morning that kids struggled on. This is from a diagnostic from a pre previous test, but um, students are to multiply the to get the volume of a box, multiply three different poly, uh, polynomials, a monomial and two binomials. And um, the steps in order are first step one, multiply the two longer polynomials and multiply the and then the sum of those times the monomial to finish it up. And so you know, a lot of times what I'm seeing is the kids are multiplying, trying to multiply in some shape or form all three polynomials at the same time and coming up with all kinds of combination of numbers or, or too few combinations or too many combinations of numbers multiplied together and, you know, um, usually they get it wrong that way. So um, these two steps are critical to solving this correctly and I wanted to, I guess, outline why those are so important, those steps to be followed like they are. And uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can copy this over to Smart Notebook. And now we're looking at the problem here in Smart Notebook. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit, extend the page if I can. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. All right, good. All right. Um, so first step is you've got the two. Let's uh, okay. L let me let me first address this the way the kids tend to do it. Uh, the first is to go ahead and write this out like this. So you've got the two sides, which we know are x plus three, x plus three, and then the other side, uh, which is two x y, <clears throat> and x plus 3 y times x plus 3 y plus uh, what was it or times 2 2 x y right <clears throat> and the kids have a tendency to say well let's see if you do foil for this it's first uh, out inside outside last so, you know, they end up going like maybe this and this and this and this and this and this. And then where do you stop? Do you go like here? Uh, you know, where do you go next? Um, do you go here and here? And, you know, w there's no rules for this. We haven't taught any rules for this. Um, the rule is, though, if you were to do it correctly, you'd be multiplying x times x times 2xy that's the uh, first right and then the um, outside would be outside outside 2xy and then inside inside 2xy and then last last um, 2xy and in that combination, you'll get the correct answer, which ends up being 2x uh, cubed. And that should be a y, lowercase y there, not exponential y. 12xy uh, squared and 18xy cubed. And I can write that out as follows. 2x, and there's 1, 2, 3x's, 3 cubed, cubed, that is y, plus, and then I get... Um, see 3 times 3y times x is 3xy times 2 is 3x let's see um this should be x squared y squared 3x squared y squared i'm sorry 6 because it's 3 times 2 so 6 see how confusing this is 3 6x squared y squared and then another one when you multiply this um Let's see. Okay, you have this 3xy, uh, 6xy squared, x squared, y squared. You have, um, which one? Uh, uh, that one, and then 
Oh, oh I see what it is. It should have been. Oh, there it is. It's that one and that one and that one. It's just super confusing. But 6x squared, y squared. And then the final term is the 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 is 18. And it's x, y cubed. X, so 18, I'm sorry. 18 x, y cubed. And that's that whole big mess. These combined become 12 of that term. <clears throat> so and there's got to be a better way, right? This is too messy, too confusing, too easy to make mistakes. So um, let's back into this a little bit. Let's see what, first of all, see what the answer is. The answer ended up being 2x cubed y plus 12x squared y squared plus 18x Oops, x, y, cubed. And sorry, this is so messy, but it's on my PC. All right, now, when you're factoring out a polynomial, this is something that's going to come later on in the, in the school year, but to factor out terms, you look for a common set of terms. And what I'm going to do is work backwards now to define the steps that you would use going in the other direction to multiply polynomials. So if we back out using division, we find a common term in each one of the three terms here. And that, that common term, there's a 2 in each of these, right? So I can pull a 2 out. And there's also an x and a y. So I can pull out an x. There's at least an x in each one of these. And there's at least a y in each of these. And when I pull that out, I'm left with, in the first term, just a x squared. And I'm left with just a 6x y and I'm left with a uh, 9 here and a y squared. Now what we know about generic rectangles is you take this and put it in here and come up with the factors for that. So an x squared goes down here and then we know six we know two numbers that add up to be six that multiply out to be nine are three and three and then we know that um, this has got to be an xy term up here. So we're basically just splitting this xy term up into two pieces. And then we've got the 9y squared. And the 9y squared goes up here. I just took the sum of, of the um, polynomials and put them in here. And then now I'm going to factor this out. So I know two numbers and multiply together to get x squared or x and x. And then I know the remaining factors here, when I multiply times x, would be 3y. And again, up here would be 3y. And I know just by checking here, 3y times 3y is 9y squared. So that all fits. So now I can do my final step of 2xy times x plus 3y times x plus 3y. We're back to what we had to begin with, which was the, um, where were we? Right back to the beginning here with the x plus 3y, x plus 3y, and 2xy, which was our box. So now, if we call this, this is the first part of this, if we call this um, step one, this is combining the two larger bi um, polynomials, the binomials, and then doing the monomial last. So you find the bigger polynomials, multiply them together, and then do the last step is multiply by the smaller or the monomial if there is one. So step one and then step two is this, when you multiply out everything else. So step, step one made this polynomial from these two polynomials and then uh, step two made this polynomial from combining the monomial and the sum of these two polynomials or binomials to get that. And that's how we get that. So if you have any other problems like that always remember polynomials first and the monomial last when you're doing the multiplication and always do it in two steps like this. <laughs>